Welcome to a new video on my channel. Mishka and I are gonna show you a little office tour today. Um, I hope that you anticipated this video because I have been working on this office for a really long time. You wanna go? You know, you don't have to get stuck in my sweater. <laughs> anyway, I've been working on this office for so long now and I feel like it's finally finished. So today I'm gonna take you in, show you all my workspace, makeup station, clothing rack, kind of explain like my workflow and everything that I do in there. Let's do it. Over here, I have my little wall of creative inspiration. Um, this thing, I love it so much. I purchased it off Etsy. It's like an acrylic wall mount calendar and there's nothing on it. I just put the new little sticky notes yesterday. So it's so convenient because you can write on this acrylic wall with an erasable marker and then write your schedule or you can use sticky notes and change it up every month. So it's very amazing. Whenever I'm gonna fill it up, it's gonna be very useful. <laughs> Moving on, we have these prints that I kind of attach with these big um, rose gold clips from Urban Outfitters. So I found these prints on Etsy and I like supporting small artists that create artwork. So I purchased their prints and then went to Kinko's, printed it out on like high gloss paper and just attach it there. And then right here I have the E People's Choice Awards ticket because that was really cool that I got to go there. So I put it there. And this is my little sofa that I love very much. I waited for this thing for like three months because um, it was back ordered on Urban Outfitters. But it's so nice because if I have people coming into my office when I'm working, they can sit down, edit with me while I'm at my desk. And it's like this cute little thing that kind of ties into like a very cozy corner in my office. And my cats are currently fighting outside, just letting you know. The pillows I love. Uh, I actually like waited for months to find the perfect ones. So this one, I, where did I get it? Oh, Pier One Imports. It's like a very pretty black and white and gray print. And then here we have a little fluffy one. I believe I got this one at Pier One Imports. I'm gonna find links for everything and link it down below for you guys. So we have a little cozy corner over here. So moving on to the clothing rack, I got this one from Amazon and it was super cheap. I had to build it myself. It didn't come with any instructions, so I kind of figured it out. I mean, it wasn't that hard, but um, it's just like a plain wood um, clothing rack. And if you noticed, uh, my inspiration for this room is to kind of build like my little city oasis, which is sort of the theme for my whole apartment. I wanted like a lot of wood textures and plants and kind of make it like very nature zen space. It's like I'm literally in the heart of the city. I want to feel like I'm still connected to nature. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so here on this rack, I usually put the pieces that um, I got recently or stuff that I pulled from showrooms. So I kind of figure out what to do with them, how to style them. So I like, you know, create a little vision board over the new pieces that I get and like the bags that I use the most and just a hat or something that looks cute kind of ties in with this room. And I'm currently working on a little jacket that I'm gonna show you how to paint, but later. <laughs> Moving on to the desk area, um, here I have some pencils, a little plant. Um, I keep the same screensaver all the time and I usually use um, some kind of dope magazine as a mouse pad. Um, and then right here I have an oil diffuser and you can't really see it in daylight but this thing is like a little galaxy, like it's so dope. So uh, when I'm working it's very refreshing. I use peppermint or eucalyptus or something like very um, refreshing. So it's, you know, I stay awake. <laughs> so here, um, well, I don't have to explain this. That's just the attitude you need to have in life sometimes. Um, I have some candles and this thing is super dope too because it's just a really refreshing eucalyptus face spray. So if I'm working on the computer for a long time and I feel tired, I'm just like awake. <laughs> this is where I keep all my parking tickets, court orders, um, restraining orders against ex-boyfriends, you know, just like the regular stuff. I'm just 
kidding. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, let me read you. It's really funny because you're I not. Know. I'll show you what's actually in here. Um, I feel like everybody has this type of drawer in their house. Comment down below and tell me if you have a drawer like this with all your wires and crazy just things that you don't know what to do with. So this is how I keep things just... That's like my mess drawer. This wall I'm super excited about because I worked so hard on it. Come on, come on closer, let me show you. So I bought these super extra long lights from Urban Outfitters and I put these little plastic hooks from Target and had to glue them. I had to sand down the whole wall and wipe it with acetone so like this sticks because otherwise like there's so much dust and like polished surface. So I put these little hooks um, at the bottom and I measured to make it like cascade like this and at the, at the top. I actually used my cat tree to climb on to hook those up and it was like shaking. I was like, I felt like I was surfing. But I got it done and I didn't kill myself. Amazing. So I put these little string lights from Urban Outfitters that actually get super freaking tangled. So I had to be really careful doing that. And then I went to my local craft store and I bought these flowers and plants individually and I um, hand glued every single one of them up and down and then I got this little moon thing from Urban Outfitters. It's like a moon mirror. It's kind of cute. I feel like it's like the perfect video background. Basically I wanted to make every single corner of my office like a shootable set design thing. So if you want to shoot something you can have different options in every corner of the office. So like there's like a couple different sets. Here we have a little lamp. It has some dust in it. I don't think I've wiped that in maybe six months but that's okay. It's real life. Right here, I have my 1 million subscriber button, which uh, also hasn't been wiped in maybe six months, yep. Um, this is like a constant reminder that back in the day I was popping and then I stopped uploading for a year and a half. I love it. So right here, um, this is probably my favorite part of the entire office because um, it actually took me a really long time to figure this out. I wanted to have the most perfect um, art collage wall that kind of symbolize things that really inspire me and just flow together and like inspire me to create they're like like little like a little window into my universe or whatever <laughs> so i researched for a long time to find the most perfect prints and um, artwork and photos of things that really inspire me that i love and um, framebridge actually this is a sponsor but they helped me um, kind of create a little unified collage of everything so i sent them all the prints and then they figure out the sizing and the flow of everything and i actually wanted mismatched frames i didn't want like anything perfect so it's not symmetrical it's just kind of scattered but i feel like it really works together fun fact i really hate symmetrical design so in my house you're never gonna see like a bed and two lamps or anything like in perfect symmetry i like things to be just like a little bit you know asymmetrical but still kind of have like flowing together so this is like the perfect example of that because it's all different shapes and sizes different frames but it works my favorite one probably would have to be this one because i feel like it's so vulnerable it's such a dope piece it's just like a girl looking into the sky with all of this beauty in the universe and I love this one it's like a little window into the universe this one I hate I put it all the way over there I was kind of seeing this guy for five minutes and um, he saw that print and he was like before I hang them up and he was like oh this looks just like us and it does like that looks like me and that literally looks like just like him so after it didn't work out I like hung it up and I'm like I'm just gonna put it up there I don't want it to remind me I don't like that one very much but it's still cute. Here I have my plant. If you notice, it's um, it's kind of dead. I'm trying to bring it back to life, but when I travel, I don't have anybody watering these that I'm also really bad with growing plants. But uh, it's there, maybe, maybe she'll come back to life one day. So right here, I have my makeup station. And if you follow me on Insta stories, you know that I had the craziest situation building this table with the drawers that didn't work out, so I ended up just throwing it away, but I'm using a little coffee table for it, which is not very convenient. As you can see, when I do my makeup, it's like this. <laughs> it's not very comfortable, so I almost like want to sit on the floor with a pillow. I mean, it works, okay? Don't judge me. 
This mirror right here is legit the most amazing selfie lighting. All my friends, when they come over, they are obsessed with it. They like sit down for like an hour and they're like in love with themselves because it looks so good. So a lot of my Instagram pictures are taken in front of this mirror because it's easy, it looks good, and it works. And here I have a simple human mirror as well because I'm just that obsessed with myself. Um, no, but seriously, this works when I really need to do like some detail work so I can bring it up closer and it also lights up. And this goes even closer. Am I covered on mirrors? Yes, I am. All right, so I'm gonna walk you guys through the makeup collection that I currently use. I have a lot of makeup. Um, but this is like the stuff that I use most on a daily basis. So a lot of it I don't use to be honest. But I try to kind of, you know, organize it, color coordinate it or whatever. I just put this little glue gun, this little cardboard divider and put some acrylic um, dividers as well. So here I have my liquid um, cream eyeshadows, my powders, highlighters, powders, face blushes, um, all my Dior lipsticks and Laura Mercier right here. Right here, we have all the face stuff, all the foundations. Um, I kind of just arrange them by brands, um, face sticks, more uh, benefit foundations, and then here I have all my palettes. They're actually not very well organized right now, but it's okay, so. Um, and I still have room to add more stuff, so it's kind of just like that. And then right here, Jesus. <laughs> right here I have, um, some pretty Saint Laurent lipsticks, some blushes, all of my little mascaras and brow pencils and lipsticks, lip glosses and all that good stuff. So that's in there. Okay, so, well shit, are we done or are we done? <laughs> oh, let me show you this. Right here, I got some decorations. I love this little, I don't know what that's called, chain with all the moon phases from Urban Outfitters. And then here I have this beautiful plant, uh, which is not real. So yeah, we have a little mood in the corner. This is where I get ready, kind of sitting down on the pillow. Um, I'm gonna order a table from Ikea one of these days because that's not the way to live. And that was my office, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you had fun. If you guys liked it, please drop me a like. It helps me out a lot. You know, YouTube is a, it's a tough world these days. Um, if you liked it, leave a comment down below. If you have any suggestions, any questions, requests, leave a comment down below. If you want to leave a hate comment, leave a comment down below. Um, thank you so much for choosing to spend a couple of minutes of your day with me. I really appreciate that. And on that note, I will see you next time. I love you. Bye!